Now, we should keep in mind that when we're discussing virtue ethics, what we're talking about is evaluating the person's character. And it'll be helpful for us to talk a little bit more about maybe to get a better understanding about Aristotle's way of assessing character or finding the character traits that you want to develop in yourself is to consider some of the other virtues according to Aristotle. We began with the um, looking at the virtue of bravery or courage but he says with regard to seeking or experiencing pain and pleasure there is a virtue namely the virtue of temperance that is we're not on either of the two extremes of you know being completely insensible in or insensitive to any experiences of pain and pleasure be it our own or others and on the other extreme somebody who's only who acts only to get himself more and more pleasure and not experience any pain so you don't want somebody who disregards you don't want to be someone who regularly disregards pain and somebody who's insensible is a uh, lacks any temperance and somebody who is overly concerned overly tempered temperate with respect to his or her pain or pleasure is in, is self-indulgent somebody that's always looking out for what's in it for him if we're thinking about uh, the in the in the realm in the domain of either acquiring getting or spending money you might say the virtue is magnificence that is you know you say that oh this was very tastefully done at a very good price so when you're looking at the extremes that are vices the two extremes somebody who has no magnificence doesn't understand can not strike the better balance in fact strikes no balance whatsoever but cost is always the ultimate concern or trying to avoid it that's somebody who's cheap or petty on the other hand somebody who only cares about getting the best thing that or what looks like the best to him is really doing something vulgar for if somebody's spending all of their salary to get some you know to get a car to impress everybody that's vulgarity if you're earning a decent salary and you need a car for transportation but you buy something that's a piece of junk that's you know, that's really inexpensive and falling apart you might say that you're really cheap so magnificence is not getting something that's really great but at least in Aristotle's way of thinking about magnificence is getting something a really good looking thing but at the right cost in the in the, in the area of you know honor and dishonor you'd say the virtue is pride that is uh, it's not one of the two extremes that is somebody who lacks any honor or concern for dishonor is you know unduly uh, <clears throat> uh, shows undue humility that is he's too humble he or she is too humble that is if you did something you take you know it's okay to take credit for it you're showing pride in your accomplishments or your work on the other hand the vice on the extreme end is that you're extremely vain that is all you're concerned about is your own honor or and lack of dishonor nobody else's that is you're you've taken the excess of honor and dishonor so, but the happy median between the two or Aristotle's golden mean between the two is pride is showing the uh, the appropriate amount of pride